Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to be talking about distributed property with variables and doing some practice on it here. So let's get started. Um, so I want you guys to pause the video and I want you guys to actually try this problem first. Okay, I'm assuming that you guys did. Let's go ahead and look at this problem right here. Okay, 3C minus 5D plus 6. So let's take a look. Um, first of all, we can distribute it, right? And there's several ways to distribute it. I'm just going to use uh, this arrow, these arrows to indicate uh, where I'm going to distribute the 6. Uh, okay, like that. And do the 6 right there. Okay, so we can do this. So our next uh, form is going to be 6 times 3C, right? Minus 6 times 5D plus 6 times 6. Now, some of you guys will get really confused by this, right? Um, if this does, if you don't like the subtraction um, like this, you can change it like this. So you can go 6, 3C, plus, minus, 5D, plus 6. Okay, plus 6. So which means that you could rewrite this problem as, um, right, distributing the 6 to all of these terms. So you could rewrite it as 6, 3C, plus 6, negative 5D, plus 6 times 6. So you can rewrite, rewrite it like that if you wanted to. Because this right here, minus 6 times 5D is the same thing as uh, plus 6 times negative 5D, right? And the reason why is um, subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative. So if you want to rewrite this form like this or this, that's really up to you. Uh, you can do whatever you feel most comfortable doing. So let's go ahead and try this one. So 6 times 3C is 18C uh, minus 6 times 6 times 5D is 30D. 30D plus 6 times 6 is 36, right? And the reason why we can't combine these terms all together uh, is because all of these terms are different. They're not like terms. This one is talking about different Cs. It's talking about the variable C. There's 18 Cs. Uh, there's uh, third negative 30 Ds. And then there's just a number, an integer, 36. And so we can't actually combine these like that. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so 6 times 3 C is 18 C. Right, and then we got six times negative five is negative 30, right? D uh, plus six times six is 36. And as you can see, it's the same thing. Subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative. Uh, I can rewrite this problem like this, adding a negative, right? 18C is the same thing as adding a negative, adding a negative. And as you can see, I derived the exact same answer as this so you can rewrite this in this form or you can rewrite it in this form whatever feels most comfortable to you you can go ahead and do that so i'm going to show you guys that hint as khan would do it um so let's do root to six so uh each term inside the parentheses and as you can see they did exactly what i did here so they decided to do it this way right it's exactly the same thing so you just see the arrows, you see the arrows here, um, this uh, multiplied out like this, multiplied out like this, and we are good to go. All right, so I'm just going to just put it random here because I don't want to actually try to put the entire term there. Let's move on. And this one is basically the same thing. I'm going to move on um, because this one's pretty much easier to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find a more difficult one because I think I saw one with fractions here. Actually, I can do this one. Let's do this one real quick. There's this fraction here. So this one, once again, is two, three minus eight Y, right? And if you take a look, we got um, two. Uh, you can rewrite this as three plus negative eight Y. That's really up to you. Uh, whatever feels most comfortable. We're just gonna distribute the two into each of the terms. So it's going to be 2 times 3 minus 2 times 8y, and there's going to be 6 minus 16y. Or you can distribute the 2, that, you know, 2 times 3 is 6, right? Uh, 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, plus uh, 2 times negative 8y is negative 16y, and then it's the same thing. So 6 minus 16y, 6 plus negative 16y, uh, they're the same thing because subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative. Okay, so we're going to hide scratch pad. 
And I'm just gonna check the answer to show you guys. And then, voila, see? This is exactly the same thing that we did here. You see the arrows, see the arrows, two times three, and we're good. Okay, two times three, two times three, uh, two times eight Y, two times eight Y, subtraction sign, subtraction sign, and the answer is the same. All right, uh, we're gonna just put a number here and we're gonna skip. All right, this one too, we're just gonna skip this one. There's a fraction one out there that I really wanna show you guys, or I've seen that I think would be really good for us to try to go over. So I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. <laughs> As I'm trying to open this up here. All right, let's try it one more time. And if I can't find it this time around, then we're just gonna go to the next thing here. Okay. By the way, this one is the same thing. Uh, don't get confused. Um, one minus two G plus four H. Uh, for h is the same thing times 5 is the same thing as this okay it's literally the same thing i just move this 5 down up here why because multiplication this this is the same thing as this right and then obviously this is written usually without the multiplication sign like it's usually written like this but what it actually means is 5 times okay and so don't let this confuse you um, uh, because the reason why is 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 3, right? So you actually doesn't change the answer when you're multiplying uh, when you switch the numbers around in their placement. But obviously, like, when you do, like, 3 divided by 1 and 1 divided by 3, um, you can't do that. It's not the same answer. That's equal to 3. That's 1 over 3, right? Uh, so with division, you can't switch stuff around, but with multiplication, you can. So... Uh, don't get confused by that, okay? Uh, you could just put the 5 here, and then it will work. All right, there, let's try it. one last one. If this is not showing up. Move on. Okay, here it is. Um, let's do this one, okay? Uh, this one is, you know, uh, I want you guys to pause the, pro uh, pause the video and try this on your own. All right, I'm assuming that you guys pause the video and try it on your own. So here, let's go. 15 plus 10K. Right, and then uh, once again, right, and then one fifth, right, one fifth times 15 plus one fifth times 10k. Um, 15 is the same thing in fraction form 15 over 1, 10k is the same thing as 10k over 1, and then so 1 times 15 is 15, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 times 10k is 10k and then 5 times 1 is 5 and then 5 times 5 divided by 5 is 3 plus uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2 and then we got 2k because of this k we just bring it down and that is our answer for this one okay so let's look at the answer see if it corresponds okay so distribute the one fifth like what we did here distribute the one fifth like we did here this is the same thing as that and then this is the same thing as that. They just skipped a step. Um, and so we got 3 plus 2K. We got 3 plus 2K right there. Okay. And so that is how you do this one. Okay. I uh, hope that helped. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.